Every autumn, students descend on colleges around the country and begin sleeping in the same room as people they've never met before. Shannon O'Neill investigates. Every year, college freshmen are forced to live with a stranger. But do these noobs know they could be living with a killer? So what I'm going to do is I have a series of potential roommates here, and I have some attributes about them. And you're going to let me know if you think this sounds like a good roommate, sweet mate, or not. All right? Okay. Good looking, studies foreign languages, volunteer work. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're dead. You just chose Ted Bundy. Good looking man though, right? Yeah, good looking. Good looking. Musician, a leader, <laughs> treats friends like family. I'd probably live with him. You would probably live with this person? Yeah. Or you just chose to live with Charles Manson? It's a swastika. That is, yeah. He put that on his head himself. Breaks glass ceilings, independent, makes green choices like carpooling. Okay, yeah, I guess. You say yes? You're dead. <laughs> Eileen Warnos, known female serial killer. Yeah, yeah. looks a little bit like you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. We look alike. You know what? I've been told I look like her too. Loves the woods, leaves clothes on the floor. Misunderstood. I can live with that. You can live with that? I think so. I'm okay, living with a snake. Shows a path, ready to grow. Loves to travel. Yum yum to that surf and turf. Sounds, Sounds great. Well, we just so chose much. Hurricane Katrina as your roommate. This looks like a real tight asshole kind of, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. That looks like a butthole, right? What about someone that has a police record? Probably not. You wouldn't choose this person? Probably not. You're saying no to this person? Yeah. You just said no to Reese Witherspoon? Ooh. Oh, buddy, huh? Yeah, a little, uh, little chub there for that one. All right, dog lover, life at the party, painter and writer. Sounds pretty wholesome. This is a bad roommate for a Jew. This is Hitler. Oh, that's so horrible. I know, but you said yes to living with Hitler. Why didn't you write a leader for Hitler? Because he's one of the most inspirational leaders of all time. One of the most inspirational leaders of all time. He's inspirational, but what he what he does is bad. But then he was a very good leader. I, I condemn him for what he does, what he did. But then he was a very good leader. Like what is your major? Style. What is your major, Jeremy? Politics. Oh fuck. <laughs> To all future college freshmen, do yourself a favor and get to know your roommate ahead of time. Or they just might kill you. For UCB One News, I'm Shannon O'Neill. Thank you, Shannon, for that illuminating report, which is just more proof that the only education you need is the Holy Bible, or the Quran, or the Torah, or your holy book. It's great. It's whatever time you're watching this, and our news is your news. Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Phoebe. We're members of UCB1. Thanks for watching our video. Yeah, if you want to see more UCB1 videos, click on us. Yeah, click right here. It's my favorite clicking spot. And if you want to subscribe, click right over here. If you want to see more UCB comedy videos in general, click down there. You got it. You got it. <laughs>